Okay, so the short answer to that question is absolutely. And I hope you see what I did there. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to all my returning clients. Much love and appreciation as always. But if you're new here, my name is Hayes. I'm a veterinarian as well as a sneakerhead, hence the name, the shoe vet. Once again, back game, my buddy here, sneakers. So today we're answering the question, can short men pull off flared pants? I know flared pants, typically it's seen on, you know, a lot taller men, you get that rock star flared look. But unfortunately, not every man is blessed with a genetic lottery. So me being five foot six, I'm actually starting to love flared pants right now. So I just wanna go over a couple of pickups that I've recently picked up over the past couple of weeks. Couple of different brands ranging from, you guys already know, Off-White to some smaller brands, Ruben Cohn, and one more that, you know, is small, but is really sentimental to me, Sanji. So with all that out the way, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, now we're going to start with the brand everyone knows, Virgil Abloh off-white. These are the off-white tailored flared pants, uh, or flared trousers, excuse me. I got these off of Double F uh, a couple weeks ago for sale, on sale for about things like 285 plus shipping and handling. Retail was at least six, 700, so I think that was a pretty uh, solid deal. These are completely black with some accents of uh, fuchsia, and I guess you can count the 3M down here too as well. But pretty much overall, they are a black pair of flared pants. As far as the sizing goes, got this in a size 46. I'm about a waist size 29 to 30. So this is pretty much what it equates to a size 30. And I think the waist is, is pretty good. Um, I can wear it without a belt so long as I don't have a lot of things in my pockets. Otherwise, I'll probably need a belt. But I think I'm going to get this hem to the waist a little bit. Lengthwise, I want to say it's about like a 30, what, 31, 32. You know, it's got a little bit of that stacking going on. As far as the cut of the pants, these are straight cut with a little bit of a flare down there at the bottom of the hem as supposed to be. Going over the details, you know, you have this little latch fastening, I forgot what you call it, but a little latch fastening thing right here, as well as a button enclosure. One of my favorite details about the pants is the fly zipper. So you see right here in the fly zipper, you do have this fuchsia paper clip, which I think is just interesting. First, it being a paper clip, and then two, it being fuchsia. There is no other fuchsia on these pair of pants, so it really sticks out, especially if you're wearing it, and you know you can kind of have it stick out. When I went to the mall and I wore these pair of pants before, and if you guys have seen my Instagram, you guys would have seen the fit that I'm going to have on this for the on body portion. So if you're not following me, follow me at the shoe vet handle and down in the description below. Anyways. Fuchsia paper clip. I really want some fuchsia socks. So I can kind of have something to match off of that, but I think it's pretty dope. Other features of the pants, you have two front pockets. You have one pocket on the back left side. That pocket has a kind of like an almost 3M strip uh, off-white logo on it with a zipper. The nice little pull tab enclosure. You do have that same kind of pocket on the right leg, kind of almost halfway down. So that same little strip off-white branding and you do have the zipper enclosure. Now running through the lateral aspect on um, both of the pants, like you do have like this little tuxedo stripe right here. Has a nice, nice little casual, almost sooty look to the pants. Oh, speaking of sooty look to pants, I forgot to mention the composition of these pants. So these pants are primarily made out of wool. But let me tell you right now, this wool is pretty thin. Actually, right now, I can still see my camera. You may even still be able to see me through the pants. I don't know. But you can actually sort of kind of see through these pants, meaning that the wool material is pretty light, it's pretty thin. Basically, what I'm getting at is I think these pants are still going to be appropriate for summer wear. Now, Hayes, tell us how did you style it? Well, again, if you saw my Instagram post, you would have seen how I styled these. But if you didn't, let me go over it. For shoes, I wore the Balenciaga Tyrex shoes, one of the most extraordinary shoes out there on the planet. Uh, these shoes are part sneaker, but because of that heel and that square toe, they're also almost part loafer and that heel really gives like a chic look and I think you know the casualness at that the chicness of the shoe really goes hand in hand with this shirt as far as <laughs> with these pants sorry now as far as shirt the shirt that I wore is the boxy cut t-shirt for Roop and Cone that we're going over next but I think that boxy fit really looked nice with the loose fitting of these pants I love how these pants are so wavy man this is insane as far as accessories go I have that slime green chain that communicates with the shoes Fun story, fun fact, I've actually had that chain for like a year and a half or two and have yet to find a time to wear it until now. And it's totally worth it. It's it, it totally worth it, man. 
hat I got from Joel de Monsure, and it has their favorite, I love that slogan, uh, not from Paris, madame. I don't know why, I just love it, but yeah, the hat is by Joel de Monsure. And I think overall, this is a nice little casual fit. I think the shoes most definitely add some really interesting intricacies <laughs> to the outfit being part shoe part loafer but man these pants man just really swing everything together the casual look of it the waviness the flare cut i mean these pants are just i think these pants are worth it let me actually see if i can get these right so i don't wrinkle it too much i know it's already wrinkled but whatever there we go hang on that bro oh my bad my bad all right so coming up next another brand ruben cone so i, I was introduced to ruben cone a couple months ago based off their cargo pants didn't cop anything from there. I wanted to wait until they dropped something new, which they did. So they dropped an ink pack, which is basically a full, you know, tonal black pack. Came with a, you know, boxy cut t-shirt, flared pants, a hoodie, and I think a cardigan too as well. But I just, I just stuck with the shirt and the pair of pants. So this shirt was about $45, somewhere right in there, plus shipping and handling, boxy cut. And let me tell you, this shirt is amazing. I am in love with this shirt. Why am I in love with this shirt? So typically I'm not the biggest fan of like oversized boxy cut things, but I mean, this right here, if I were to start out with this, I would've told you I would've loved boxy cut shirts, but it feels really nice, very durable. I love the weight, it has a little bit of weight to it. Um, so I think that's nice, but then just the way it drapes on me, specifically me, oh my goodness, man, he made, <laughs> Boy, the cut is, I, I can't get over talking about the cut. The cut of it is just extraordinary. You have a rib collar around the neck. A little extra detail, but I mean, yeah, everything is just, I mean, even the tag is like, you know, in that nice, rich, dark black color. Uh, I'm afraid they'll really wash this, but um, yeah, I do, again, the, the way this shirt was made and cut is just extraordinary. And for 45 bucks, I mean, I've, I've worn boxy cut things, you know, from Off-White, The Fear of God, things like that, but for the price too, you gotta keep that in mind. The price, extraordinary, very well done. So let's go ahead and jump into the pants right here. So these are the flared cargo pants. These are a little bit more expensive though. They're about 180, 100% made out of cotton, tonal black, no other like, no emblems or details or anything like that. Just straight for a cargo pant. And I think these pants are really great. The only gripe that I have over these is just the sizing. I was a little bit confused on the sizing because on the little drop down tab where you try and you know put your size in and go to add the cart, it says a small is a 29 and a medium is a 30 in the waist. But the sizing chart is a little bit different. I wanna say the small was like a, what is it, a 31? Somewhere in there on the waist, something like that. Uh, basically what I'm saying is it did match up. And so when I got these, when I put them on, lengthwise, not that bad. I may, I may hem it up just a little bit, but in the waist, the waist is a little bit tight. I can't front, the waist is a little bit tight. I definitely don't need a belt. Remember my waist size is about a 29 or 30. And yeah, I know I don't need a belt. I'm trying to figure out if I can even tuck anything in it though. Um, but hey, it is, it is what it is though. No, no, no big complaints, but I just wanna make that be known. So let's go over the details of the pants. So as far as enclosures goes, you have a button enclosure as well as that little latch metallic system -y thing. You have a zipper. I don't know what the zipper, I don't know if it's like YKK or Riri or whatever like that, but I will let you know that the zipper seems very, very durable. And so I do, Excellent quality control on there. Excellent quality. Ain't that right? Yes. Good quality control on there. Uh, you have a belt loop all around so you can wear a belt with it. Like I said, I really don't need one. You have two 3D pockets, one on each side of the pants leg, about maybe halfway down the thigh with a snap button enclosure. Other little details that inside of the pants, you can't really see it from the outside, we do have a paisley print inside the pant pockets. And then of course, the reason for me getting these pants in the first place is the flared hem down at the bottom of the pants, otherwise more of a straight fit. Now, as far as how I styled, ugh, I don't know what that was. Anyways, as far as how I styled these pants, I mean, I kept it pretty chill. Uh, Reuben cone pant, Reuben cone shirt, you guys know the deal with that. As far as shoes goes, I decided to wear one of my most infamous reviewed shoes on my channel, the Rav Simmons Adidas Oswegos in that chrome metallic colorway. Why do I say it's controversial? I mean, just, Go to the review, look at the comments. Uh, basically, long, basically long story short, I decided to wear uh, some oversized trousers that I thought would look nice with the shoes. Kind of covers up a good little bit, but also still shows that standout part. I thought it was a pretty dope look, but um, yeah, apparently everyone else, um, yeah. 
Anyways, I don't think I've ever been that flamed in a video. I don't think I've ever been that flamed in a video before, but hey, it is what it is. I still like it, and that's the fashion is. Just wear what you want, wear what you're comfortable with. So that's the spiel about the shoes. Uh, as far as accessories go, uh, you know, I kept it pretty chill. Drone them, I'll show a hat. Uh, the necklace right here is an emblem off of, well, you know, one of my favorite artists, Tyler Creator, Golf of Thur. Yeah, it's a nice little silver chain, silvery shoes. I think it's pretty nice. Main thing I was trying to check out with this outfit is just the overall silhouette of me. Uh, you know, boxy cut t-shirt, flare jeans, big chunky shoes. Uh, yeah, I was kind of interested to see how that worked out. I think it looked pretty, I think it looked pretty well. Again, I just think I'm gonna have to tailor these pants just a little bit. I think they bunch up on me a little bit too much. Just a little bit, but overall, not bad. All right, last but not least, had to save. Oh, I don't want to say the best for last, but uh, definitely the ones that means the most to me, the black flare jeans from Sanjeev. So why do these jeans mean so much to me? Uh, I mean, from one, for one, and I'm a real big fan of Sanjeev, and then two, he's a really big inspiration of why I do what I do on my channel. Let me explain. So we all know that I love shoes. Shoes are always gonna be you know, my first love. It's in my name. It's what I mostly review, things like that. But as I always say, what is a good collection of shoes if you have nothing good to wear it with? Um, Sanjeev is like one of those, you know, one of the guys out there that kind of influenced me to branch out there, kind of experiment a little bit. You know, you guys, if you guys have noticed, if you guys haven't noticed, you know, how I do my on foot portions for whatever I wear, uh, you know, you guys will see me try different cuts. You guys will see me try different colors. You guys will see me, you know, try different textures and things like that. And that's all primarily from, you know, watching channels like him, you know, Stevie Saw, Galax, Roy. I mean, all those people out there, don't get me wrong, I do appreciate the Tony D's, the Bullet RC's, the Steph Ballers, and all them. Um, but, as far as my overall sense of fashion, you know, I gotta, I gotta give my nod to you know the people like Sanjeev. So of course, if you you know appreciate someone, support them. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so let's go over these jeans. Enough talk. So these are the flare jeans right here, primarily a tonal black with the accent of red right here. Going over, you know, the sizing. I got these and they size 30. Uh, you can see some branding on here on the button. The zipper right here is a Riri zipper, so nice quality control, love it. You have belt loops all around. I do like how some of them are crisscross shaped. Uh, I think that's pretty intricate. That accent of red right here is a red vegan leather star. I think it was used to remind them of their being you know, eco-friendly and everything like that. Good touch. You got two pockets on the front, two pockets on the back. Wise, I don't know if he had, did he have a length proportion on there? I think so, but I feel like these are probably like a 31, 32 course being flared at the end but I mean it's just interesting because these pants all they scrunch up a little bit I'm, o I'm okay with it I don't think I need to get these hemmed uh, unlike the Reuben Cohen ones but I do uh, I do like the fit the waist uh, I think was perfect uh, there's not too tight I can tuck things in so perfect on the waist now biggest detail on the pants is of course the embroidery on the front right here so if you watch Sanji's video you know that his mother actually has this emblem all throughout the house uh, it's a pretty common emblem in a lot of Asian houses, apparently, according to Sanjeev. So I do like that sentimental detail that he, you know, chose to take from his heritage and put onto his craftsmanship, put onto his work. Gotta support that. Now, what else do we have to pick up from Sanjeev? So coming from the same drop, this is his drop two, matter of fact, I didn't mention that before. Uh, this scarf and these pair of pants are from drop two. I didn't get anything from drop one because I slipped, I missed out. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, going over this scarf right here. Let's let me first let me first show you what this what we're talking about right here. Come on. Look at this. Look at this. Poly cotton scarf. I mean, you, you can you see how big it is right here. Greetings from Sanjeev. Got the desert vibe right here. And you, I had to. You know, I, I'm in the desert myself. I, I had to. There's there was no reason for me not to get this scarf. Now, what's interesting about this scarf is you guys you guys see how big it is. Pause. You guys see how big it is, right? And and there is so many different ways you can style this scarf. I mean, you can wear it as a mask, you can wear it as a sash, you can wear it as a belt, you can style your rabbit with it. The implication for this scarf is almost endless uh, you can even use it as a handle I mean there's just a lot of things you can do with this scarf you know adds a lot of flair to it uh, definitely some chic vibes but um, yeah man I think this scarf is pretty interesting it feels really nice and smooth so Hayes how did you style these both of these pieces now most of the people that I've seen on Sanji's feed you know I, I see him basically wearing like you know boots which is 
perfectly fine. Uh, flared pants and boots go hand in hand, like Ori and O. So how I styled these, so one, you know, I picked, you know, one of my favorite shoes in my collection, the Nike Calm the Girl Zone Dunks. The reason why I love these shoes is that one, they're dunks, and then two, they're translucent so I can play around with my socks. That can also, you know, add things to my outfit. So of course with the socks, I want some pink socks. These pants right here, you have the scarf right here as a sash, uh, but I can also wear as a belt. Now the reason why I did that is because you can see some of the pink tones. You can see some pink tones throughout the scarf and I wanted those pink tones to sort of kind of match up with those pink socks. I have a black shirt, just kept it pretty basic and then I wrapped it all together with a pink satin nylon bomber. I love that bomber, love that bomber man and of course you know the pinkness in that bomber you know kind of correlates to the pink tones in this scarf and of course the pink socks down at the bottom. Uh, as far as the hat goes, so the hat's from Amy Lee on door. I just did a review on it. It's a satin hat. You see the flowers, the flowers are pink in it, uh, or the flowers are pink, excuse me. So of course you have the pink in the hat, talking to the pink of the jacket, talking to the pink in the scarf, which talks to the pink of the socks. So yeah, that's kind of like, you know, the whole, uh, uh, my whole thought process. This outfit, of course, you know, the base colors is black, neutral. So it, it goes with pretty much everything. But uh, yeah, I think the flared cargos adds a little bit of edge to that outfit too as well. So yeah, you have a guy who's wearing, you know, mostly black and pink with a scarf as a sash or belt, depending on however I want to wear it. But then you have like those pants. So I'm like, oh yeah, this dude, this dude's a, this dude's a badass right here. Uh, he, he may swipe my girl and I might, who knows? I might, dude, dude, fix, your, fix yourself up. Fix yourself up. What are you doing? What is this, sir? Do I got you all dressed up and everything like that and you just gonna come over here and mess up your outfit? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, but um, yeah, with that being said, that is pretty much gonna do it for this video. Once again, to answer the question, can short men wear flared pants? Absolutely. You may have to get them hemmed up just a little bit, but I still think you guys can rock it because I'm definitely gonna rock it. So hey, it is what it is. End of the day, wear what makes you happy, wear what makes you comfortable. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you hit the description button too as well. This is how you become a client. Also, follow me on Instagram for more content. The handle's at the shoe bit, and that will be in the description box down below. Hope you guys